prokaryotes and eukaryotes. There are two main categories of cells. If it's living, it's made of cells. And if it's living, it's either a prokaryote or a eukaryote. So prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells have some things in common. Yeah, they're all living. They also have some things that are different. So we're going to go through this and highlight and change a few things about prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. So the first thing you'll notice, it says prokaryotes are unicellular. So you're going to highlight unicellular. And above that, I want you to write that that means one cell. Most of you remembered that from sixth grade. They lack a membrane bound structure specifically the nucleus now the word lack means doesn't have or don't have if I lack a car that means I don't have a car uh, lack is not a word that we use really commonly here in Central Texas but uh, a lot of things uh, especially star questions will say if it lacks this that means it doesn't have it uh, membrane bound the word bound means to be tied up or enclosed in so if you would picture say a ziploc bag full of jello um, the ziploc bag could represent a membrane that's holding the jello okay if it's a structure such as the nucleus that is bound by a membrane that means the thin outer layer of the nucleus is holding all of the stuff inside the DNA and all of that so prokaryotic cells don't have membrane bound structures including a nucleus now on this picture you see the word nucleoid we're going to draw a line through nucleoid that's more of a college level word but underneath it we're going to put dna because this squiggly stuff here floating around in the cytoplasm is dna the genetic heredity information um, that is in the cell so it has the dna that would be in a nucleus of a eukaryote but it's just not inside a membrane, so it doesn't technically have a nucleus. This gray area, just kind of draw a line out here, is the cytoplasm. All organisms, uh, cells, every kind of cell, has cytoplasm, or the gel that is inside of the cell. And then we do have some organelles in a prokaryote. Ribosomes are a pro, uh, prokaryote organelle. And we also have ribosomes in eukaryotes. We have cytoplasm, we have DNA. Uh, we also have on here, they call it a plasma membrane, which that's a good name. It's just not one that we use in uh, middle school. Uh, we use cell membrane. It means the same thing. It's a membrane that holds all of the cell stuff inside the cytoplasm and everything. Um, this particular diagram is a bacteria. It shows a flagellum, which is like a tail-like structure that helps it to move. Most of your bacteria have a flagella, but not all, okay? Now, this picture doesn't show a flagella, but some cells protist, for example, do have flagella. So some eukaryotic cells have a flagella, but not all. Um, when we look at this, we have a cell wall. Uh, not all bacteria have a cell wall, but I would say 90% um, have a cell wall. So most have a cell wall. All right. Uh, some of the other things, like I said, they're, they're not bound by uh, membrane. Uh, we'll learn about some of them later, but these are the main ones that we're talking about. Uh, other characteristics of prokaryotic cells, they tend to be small or really tiny. They tend to be simple, not very complicated. And they measure 0.1 to 5 microns in diameter or across. Okay, this little letter it looks kind of like a u but it's not quite it's a greek letter but um that stands for micron 
a micron is equal to one one thousandth of a millimeter. So when we look at our ruler and we find centimeter, it takes 10 millimeters to make one centimeter. If you were to take that little teeny eyelash looking thing, that little space there, and you divide it a thousand times, one thousandth of that teeny tiny space is a micron. And this says point one, so that's one tenth of that is how small prokaryotic cells are. They're very simple, they're very small, okay? Compared to eukaryotic cells, um, eukaryotic or organisms made of eukaryotic cells, and they have a nucleus. That's the big difference. Prokaryotic, pro, no nucleus. You do have a nucleus. Um, they also have other organelles that are enclosed by membranes. Uh, organelles are just little tiny organs or little structures inside that have a lot of different functions. We're going to learn every single one of them and their function, but right now we're just talking about the two types of cells, prokaryotic and eukaryotic. Eukaryotic cells are large in comparison to prokaryotic cells. That'd be like saying Miss Minor is tall in comparison to a kindergartner. Yeah, I'm tall, but I'm really not tall. Okay, eukaryotic cells are microscopic, but they're large if you're comparing them to a prokaryotic cell because they are 10 to 100 microns across, 10 to 100 times as big as prokaryotic cells. They are complex, meaning lots of different parts, more complicated, and most are multicellular organisms. Okay, most eukaryotes are multicellular. There are some single cellular. Multicellular means many cells. All right. So of our, uh, here we're going to also change plasma to cell membrane because that's what we use. Uh, you'll notice it says cytosol. We're going to change that to cytoplasm, which is more common what we talk about. In the center, there's a big circle here. Highlight that. That is the nucleus that is bound by a nuclear membrane. Inside, there's another circle that they've labeled nucleolus. We don't really use that much in uh, middle school, but you might use it in high school biology. And then we are going to look, and if we were categorizing, there are four different categories are four different kingdoms, rather, of eukaryotes. And so those are the plant, the animal, the protista, and the fungi. Um, if we look at this one, this cell does not have a cell wall. It's an animal cell. Animal cells don't have cell wall, but plant cells do. So plant cells have a cell wall. So if they said, oh, this, this cell has a cell wall, does that automatically make it a plant? No, it could be a bacteria, okay? But if their choices are, is it an animal or is it a plant, if it, does, if it has a cell wall, then it's a plant cell, okay? So if it's of a eukaryotic cell, and those were your two choices. Um, so when we look at the things they have in common, they both have cytoplasm, they both have a cell membrane, they both have ribosomes, and then there are things that are different. So most of your eukaryotes are multicellular, but some are unicellular. Protists are unicellular. Um, so you're going to complete a Venn diagram, and the Venn diagram, you're going to fill in prokaryotic, eukaryotic. They, this is everything they have in common. They both have DNA. This one has no nucleus. Main difference, this one has a nucleus. And then we watched the video on uh, Google Classroom, and we added the kingdoms um, 
that they can, if it's prokaryotic, it's going to be kingdom bacteria or kingdom archaea. If it's eukaryotic, it'll be either protist, fungi, plantae, or animalia. We also added uh, and RNA. Every cell has RNA. So you added to what you got from your um, information there. Now we're going to glue this into our journal. So you're going to trim the white space uh, off of the information page that we have highlighted. And you're going to glue that down on page 9. Uh, just a thin line of glue around the outside edge. Your title is prokaryotic versus eukaryotic on yesterday's date, August the 31st. Then you're going to cut out your Venn diagram and you're going to make it a flap. So once you trim around the outside edge, then you're going to just put glue underneath where a stripe of glue underneath Venn diagram so that you can see behind that. And that will also go on to page 9. Okay, yours is filled out. This is just an extra.